morning everyone i'm so excited to be doing vlogmas 2020 this is actually going to be the first year that i ever do vlogmas it's also the first year that i am not working so i thought it would be a perfect year to do vlogmas that way it's not just a bunch of clips of me doing work it's actually me doing things one because of the pandemic so you know we're all kind of just at home and then two because i have been laid off of my job so i've kind of just been doing unemployment for right now and kind of just picking up jobs wherever I can. I am trying to start a full-on business so during this vlogmas you'll probably see a bunch of that as well. I have meetings, trainings, things like that. I also recently got my real estate license. Well I passed all the exams for it but if you know anything about real estate even number years you are up for renewal or well, at least here in Hawaii. And so because it's 2020, I didn't want to pay for two more months and then have to pay to renew again. Even though it's prorated, I just didn't think it made sense financially, especially because like I'm on unemployment or whatever. So I'm going to wait to 2021, but we do have to submit my application during Vlogmas. So I think it's December 1st. I need to go to the post office and mail that out. So... We have lots going on. Today is the 30th. I'm pretty sure you film the day before and you post on the 1st. I think everyone does their Vlogmas differently. Some may film on the 1st and then post on the 2nd and that begins their Vlogmas. But I'm going to film on the 30th and then post on the 1st. That was 25 days. So like 1 through 25 of December will be my posting schedule. And I've also, I don't know if you noticed, but I am going to be posting it on top of my main channel and not my vlog channel. One, like selfish reason, I actually get paid from my main channel. Not a lot, but I do get paid from my main channel because I do have AdSense on top of it. So I thought, hey, if I'm going to invest the time and energy into it. Although, like, I love doing this and filming just naturally. But if I'm going to do it and be consistent about it and, like, really be on top of it, I want to at least make it worth it for me. And um, during this pandemic, I really realized, like, I really need to do a lot. I mean, not I need to do a lot. I waste a lot of time doing nothing, which at times is good. Like you do need some downtime where you kind of can relax and chill. I meant to get ready while I'm talking to you, but <laughs> it's turning into a full on rant. But I also realized that I waste a lot of my time. Like a lot of my time is spent into like social media, games, watching YouTube, like just doing things that are not beneficial to me like whether that's like educating myself or that's reading like doing actual things that can help me grow or like doing anything that financially helps me you know what I mean like being in a pandemic and being on unemployment and like not having a job it's kind of scary financially like where you're gonna go and so I'm like I need to make sure that whatever I do and whatever I put my time into it's financially worth it for me and I know that sounds like money hungry or like greedy or whatever and it's not that like I'm not gonna not do things because it doesn't give me money but I just need to make sure that I am thinking of that aspect as well so I am gonna be doing my vlogmas on top of my main channel also my audience there's a lot bigger and I don't know if much people from my main channel knows about my vlog channel so it's kind of like a cross promo between my main channel and my vlog channel also I have like five maybe even seven maybe even ten old videos that I filmed and I really want to upload it because it was us documenting like the it's not really renovations but like the updates to our house and like as you can see like chandelier painted crown moldings we did a flooring so we've done a stuff a bunch of stuff to our house and so I definitely want to post that so I'm thinking my main channel is going to be more of like the current vlogs and that's where I'm going to post vlogmas and then on my vlog channel is where I'm going to try and get some of my old content uploaded and this happened with our trip too we took a trip last September and I only uploaded it this year to my vlog channel um, so I'm like really behind always on content on my vlog channel and I originally was going to do vlogmas there That way I can build the audience there But I just have way too much content that I still want to upload that it didn't make sense to like do vlogmas and upload that later So if you love me 
And if you want more of me, you're gonna get a lot. You're gonna get past content on top of my vlog channel. So if you're not subscribed there, please make sure to go check dot in the description box or I'll leave it here on the screen. It's also on top of my channel. If you look at related channels, I think, or somewhere there, I do have that pinned there. I don't know how it works, but I do have it pinned there and that is my vlog channel. And I do have content there. So if you haven't seen any of that content yet, definitely go check that out. But I'm also going to be posting some new, new old <laughs> content there. And then all of the Vlogmas is going to be here. And then once Vlogmas is over, we'll go back to the normal content, which is kind of like makeup and lifestyle. And then we will do continuing the vlogs there. I don't think it's going to be daily like Vlogmas, but um, it definitely will be a lot more consistent. And I'm hoping that Vlogmas is going to train me and get me into a schedule to where I know how to film, edit, and upload. So that way I'm not like waiting like six months at a time before new content is uploaded. So anyway, I am trying to get ready today. Like I said, today is November 30th. I'm trying to do a Vlogmas intro, and you would have seen it already if you're watching this video, but I personally didn't create it yet, and so I wanted to get cute, get ready. I do have, as you can see here, a plaid shirt or theme if you saw on Instagram, which if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you go and check that out. I did some Halloween looks there. I did my Christmas decor there, and then I have a business Instagram too if you want to follow that. You are more welcome. You are more than welcome to, to support me and my business adventures. I'm going to leave all that down in the description box below. Definitely check it out. Um, what was I seeing? Yeah, so our theme for Christmas tree is plaid. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen it there. Or like buffalo plaid. It's like glam puff buffalo plaid. And so um, I wanted to get ready today and do some clips for the intro. Also take some pics. That way I can promote it on social media that I am doing the Vlogmas this year. Which is just crazy to me, but... I thought that this would be like such a good year just given what we're going through. Given the fact that I'm not working, so like I actually will have content. Some content may just be me working at my computer or like watching videos because I'm trying to do some training for real estate. So it's just going to be a mixture of all different things. But hopefully it's fun and hopefully even if it's not fun then you enjoy just hanging out with me and interacting with me and following my everyday life. Crazy. But I'm going to go ahead and get ready. I meant to get ready while I was talking to you so I can multitask but that clearly didn't happen. So I'm going to get ready and then we'll be back um, to do some content for the intro and I'll kind of show you what I have. I did start something with like some Christmas decor content as an intro and I actually have that fully done and ready to go if I don't like this content I'm about to grab. Um, I do have something ready to go that can go on top of that can be good for vlogmas so either way like I'm good but I just thought I'd try and throw in a little bit of me <laughs> into it <laughs> but um yeah so I'm gonna get ready now. All right, so my face is fully done. I have a bright red lip to go with the Christmas decor theme. But anyway, I need to go do my hair, get dressed so we can get this thing a rolling. All right, so I have me camera, me camera. I have my camera fully set up over here. And this is the final look. The hat is buffalo plaid. The shirt is buffalo plaid. I was going to pull the hat down a little bit more, but I didn't want it to, like, ruin my makeup. But, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and film a little bit for the Christmas intro. I do want to play some Christmas music so I can kind of get into the spirit. I also need to take some pics. That way, I can post it and share it on social media. I kind of help promote my Vlogmas. I just have a chair. It's actually just a black chair from our dining room and I threw some fur over it to kind of just look a little more bouge, if you will. Um, the angle from my camera is actually a lot better. Here, let me show you. Okay, it's a little zoomed in right now, but 
you saw the intro like it's fire right so well hopefully it looks good i don't know if i'm going to be using it like i said earlier i have two different um versions if you will of what i'm potentially going to use do 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 so i'm gonna go ahead and do this and then we'll be back and we'll see what this day holds for us my makeup is like snatched in real life though she's real thick because I kind of messed up, so I had to like double the layers. So there's like four layers when there's normally like three. Three meaning foundation, concealer, powder. But then I had to go back and do like more powder, like of another powder. So she's like a little thickums. But I was like, that's okay. You know, like on camera, it doesn't look as thick as it does in person. But I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then we'll see what today holds. <music> All right, so we just got done filming the intro. We took some pics for it. I threw some product in my hair because after I took off the Santa hat, my hair was a hot mess express. I need to hurry up and finish editing that video. I have some computer work things I need to do. I need to wrap up a gift. I have some laundry to fold. We have lots to do today. And we're also gonna be having a seafood boil tonight for my boyfriend's mom's birthday so i'll make sure to vlog that we still have to go shopping for that so i need to leave the house at 2 30 it is currently 12 39 so we have about two hours to this is for two hours to kind of just get things rolling i do need to clean up my mess like i did a full-on setup with like my lights i still have a ring light on that's why the lighting is bomb but i need to put all that away creating mental notes in my head of things I need to do. I need to get this video, I need to get the content for my intro video up, so then that way I can upload a video tomorrow. But I'm real excited because I've never done vlogmas before. That was, what was that? <laughs> she caught the Holy Spirit. Um, I've never done vlogmas before, so I'm super excited, but super nervous because that's 25 days of filming, editing, and uploading. Like, I've never been that diligent with YouTube. It's always like, six months later, <laughs> we're trying to get content up. So, this should be interesting. But I just wanted to quickly share some things that I picked up. Alright, so I recently picked up a bunch of key sunglasses. There's a total of five pairs. There was once a $35 deal and then another $25 deal. I can't remember which one I got for which deal. But this is the Reina Black Smoke. I love these, like, cases that come with these sunglasses. They're super cute. Um, I don't know if my lights will allow me to try these on, but these are the Reina. Sorry, I also don't want to mess up my makeup. This is Reina in black smoke. I actually should just take it out. I need to put them away. You know what? I need to post on Instagram. I'm trying to get better at posting content on all social media platforms. She's trying to be an influencer. But let me quickly post something on Instagram story. So, again, Arena. Now I can take them all out of these packaging. I've been waiting to film and do some pics for social. This is, again, Rena in black smoke. I love key sunglasses. But the problem is, is that they're really expensive. Well, not really. They're not like designer expensive, but they're pricier. They're about 70 bucks naturally. But they have so many sales that why would one ever pay full price for sunglasses ever again from Key? I also can't see with these lashes. It's creating like this shadow. I like when my lashes like wing out like this, but this is too wingy in my opinion. So again, this is the Reina, Reina in black smoke. Ooh, this is like some money. Like, hand me my ball. Oh, don't scratch her. 
The next one we have is the Come Through in black and gold. I know one of these was a collab, I think, with Lizzo. Was it Come Through? I don't know. I don't really keep up with the key collabs. I also don't like this sunglass holder. I wish Key would like get better at what sunglass holders they give. They're cute and all, but I just don't feel like they're as protective as that other one I first showed you. This one is cute. I'm um, back to pricing though, but yeah, so they're a little bit more expensive, but like you just have to wait for a good deal. Once I got high keys for like 35 bucks, you just never know what kind of special they have. But just don't ever buy them full price. I mean, unless you have the money, but you can be a saver like me. But So these are come through. So cute. I love the shape. I love this like... Oh, I don't get makeup on these. I need to put them all into my sunglass holder, so that's why I'm just opening them up. The next one is Hold Please in Gold Gold. Again, this cheapy plastic container. I do keep them, because sometimes when I travel, I'll put them in these cases, but I think I'm just gonna use that white one. I've never seen that white one before. I've seen that clear one before, because that's like, well, all my sunglasses. Ooh, okay. This one has to be my favorite so far. Like, by far one of my favorites. Hold, please. Okay, let's drop it, please. Um, I really like it because I don't know if you can tell if it's picking up, but, like, there is bling glitter all around the rim of the glasses. They're basic aviators, but just like a little bling on the side. Hold, please. I've been on hold with custom customer service for my insurance company for like an hour. The entire time it took to get ready, I was on hold and I didn't get through to anyone. And then I hung up because I needed to get my day started. And it's always the case like as soon as I'm doing something, that things wants to start happening. And I was like, I can't be like doing a full on photo shoot. Okay, it wasn't a photo shoot. It was taking pictures in my living room. But to me, that's a production, honey. Um, but I didn't want to like be doing all that and then someone answers and I need to talk. So I was like, whatever. I'm just gonna hang up and figure it out later. I needed to do some computer stuff anyway. So I figured I'd just get it all done then. Oh shoot, what was this one called? All in in black smoke. I'm gonna leave it neat linked, not linked. I'm gonna leave them all listed down in the description box below. Mm, these are a little too round for me. Round sunglasses make my face look fat, but they're cute. They're a vibe. I don't know about like anyone else when they pick out sunglasses, but like they come with different vibes. Like depending on my vibe is what the sunglass I'm gonna use. And this is the last one. Ooh, this is like a good, good case. I like this case too. I think I have a white one like this. I just personally like these better than that clear one. I don't know why. This one's huge jangus. Um, this one is called Zizus. 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 In black smoke FLS. I don't know what that means. Ooh, okay, these are my favorite. I love a thick gloss like this. This is like my no makeup kind of days and I just want to hide from the world. Like, no pictures, please. No pictures. No pictures. Sorry, paparazzi, not today. No pictures. But like, you know, it's like thick. Sorry, I'm holding it. I don't want it to touch my face. And of course it did. Between oils and makeup, I don't want it to touch. But this is my sunglass holder here. I have three of them. 
They are from Amazon. They're pretty inexpensive. I think like maybe $20. If I can find it, I will link it down below. But I absolutely love storing it in here. The only problem with storing it in this versus something that's like visible or out is that you rarely see them. And so I rarely reach for sunglasses just because like I don't know what I have and so I rarely reach for them. But they hold, how much is this? One, two, three, four, five, six times three. So 18 in a holder and oh my god this one's full. Not food. I hope they're not all full because I have five more sunglasses I need to find homes for. Oh here's three spots here. Let's hope that this one, I did get rid of some too recently. I'll have three, perfect. Okay, so this should be enough. I need to take some, so these are like my cheapier pairs that I use for like, if I go to the beach or if I don't care if something should happen to them. So I have these two here and then, sorry, trying to make space for it all. And then this set here is all of my like more expensive ones. They're not like super expensive. My most expensive ones are key, but um, a lot of these are key. Que, qui, I don't know how you say it. Key, I think this is qui, qui, key, key, Betsy Johnson. And then the rest are just like cheapy. These are from Amazon. They're one of my favorites. I love how big they are. I love big sunglasses. Um, I buy some from ASOS. I buy sunglasses from wherever I can find them. There's another site called Zero UV that I get like a lot of these from. They're super duper duper cheap. Um, I get some of these from like eBay, the bigger ones. I had a black one over here. These used to be like my all time favorite. But I'm liking more of like this style as you saw in my haul. Like this style has like become my favorite. Oh my god, my fan in all of my shades look really crazy. <laughs> but yeah, so that style has like become my favorite. But I'm going to go ahead and try and organize this, move some of these to here, and then I'll kind of give you an update once it's all done. Alright, so I have them all in their homes. This one's full. This is all key. Then this is key. So this whole, this whole area is key. This is not key. And then these two are not key. These are kind of are going to be more of the chunky frames, the thicker frames, the big ones. And then these are more like wired frames. And then like clear see-through and then cheapy smaller sunglasses that aren't as big as these. I'm gonna go ahead and put this all away and try and work on that Vlogmas intro. <laughs> But yeah, so as you just saw, I took off all of my makeup. Um, it is now midnight. So today's actually December 1st. So happy December. Um, I didn't do any vlogging of tonight. Well, I did a little. Um, we did a seafood boil. I only have a photo of that. So I inserted here on the screen. It was super duper yummy. And then we played a little twister. And so I'll insert a clip of that as well. I do sell things on eBay and Poshmark. I need to do a full on video of that one day. Kind of just explaining like what I sell on there and things like that in case any of you are interested. So I just need to package that up and get that sent out tomorrow. But I think that's going to be it for the night. If there is anything else, I'll try and add it in. But for the most part, I'm pretty sure that's it and I'm calling it a night. And so I'll see you folks in tomorrow's vlog.